गुड मॉर्निंग दिस इज डॉक्टर सुनील पांडे फ्रॉम आई टी एस मोहन नगर गाजियाबाद आई टी एस मोहन नगर गाजियाबाद इज वन ऑफ द लीडिंग इंस्टीट्यूट इन नॉर्थ इंडिया विच इज रनिंग अंडर द एजेज ऑफ आई टी एस एजुकेशन ग्रुप विद इट्स फोर कैंपस एट ग्रेटर नोएडा एंड गाजियाबाद विद वन इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज द मैनेजमेंट इंस्टीट्यूट टू डेंटल कॉलेज टू डेंटल हॉस्पिटल्स दैन वी आर ऑल्सो कमिंग अप विद वन ऑफ द नेचर नेचुरल हेल्थ केयर विंग the campus uh, uh, is just spread it uh, over 65 acres land uh, all the campuses if we include uh, with uh, over 10000 students and 750 plus faculty members this is uh, what its education group is uh, when it comes to the migration from conventional education platform to digital uh, platform this was a big challenge when uh, in the month of march when uh, initially entire lockdown entire up the all academic institutions were announced to be closed and then subsequently from 22nd march the country wide lockdown was imposed suddenly uh, we were forced in a situation where everything was kept on hold no acad- no campus life uh, there was nothing like campus infrastructure where classes could be run but then uh, the we as an institute took this challenge and uh, uh, though we didn't have time because suddenly institutions were closed for the next day we didn't have that much time to train our faculty train to staff members train to students but uh, thanks to all the stakeholders who extended their all support and we were able to implement all those training programs within 24 hours and academics on track uh, probably we were uh, uh, among the very few institutes in in the country who is tra- who trans- uh, transited from um, conventional system to digital platform and we started our first class on 16th march on digital platform uh this was not that much easy because uh, it required lots of uh, infrastructure support procurement of uh, uh, online uh, communication systems uh, then of course since everything was going online the security was something which was very important so we uh, overnight we decided and we implemented uh, all security measures at uh, our institute and since uh, we from our inception uh, we always believe that technology is one of the biggest enabler when it comes to import education so uh that the security system uh, we deployed end to end security that utm devices we had employed uh, and then uh, the connectivity of faculty members we uh, we hired cloud services and we migrated our uh, entire uh, the education uh, uh, contents uh, to the cloud to make sure that the students and faculty all of them have sufficiently uh, 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 sufficient access to all these uh, uh, contents and i'm really uh, i feel happy in share that uh, we could do this uh, and Uh, of course we miss uh, uh, the in campus life but uh, then when it comes to academics we were we were able to keep things on without compromising with the quality uh, the other thing the uh, once uh, things were uh, on track uh, when it comes to class con- uh, conducting the classes the next challenge was how to uh, uh, conduct assessment of the students because this was also required that the feedback is required so we uh, uh, we kept the system of feedback uh, online which in any case we uh, earlier also we used to conduct this online session assessment was the biggest challenge but uh, then we introduced lms uh, we started with google uh, classes then we explored other options also and uh, as and when uh, required we uh, plugged into the system by introducing new applications new systems and uh, i really uh, take pride that uh, that uh, those uh, uh, the conduct of classes the academics and then assessment both were uh, incoherent and uh, Uh, very timely at early st- uh, stage we could introduce these system where uh, uh, quizzes on the classes which were conducted uh, the class uh, tests uh, the assessment the assignments all those things were uh, uh, were done something like as if we were doing in during a normal uh, uh, course of work so uh, we conducted on 6000 online classes uh, for all our courses here at this campus uh there were a uh, minimum five quizzes in all the subjects there were two class tests in all the subjects during uh, those lockdown periods uh, it not only helped in keeping academics uh, 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 on but also kept uh, to maintain the academic rigor what otherwise would have been really difficult uh, uh, in such a uh, time but the next thing was uh, the when uh, we were we are in campus we believe we have always believed that uh, Uh, only classroom teaching does not help in overall development of students so we have always been trying to create certain platforms where the students have opportunity to interact with the researchers to the industry people to the policy makers and those who have been driving the industry because their vision their thought process and opportunity to interact with them 
not only helps students in increasing their confidence, but also uh, it broadens their horizon of understanding and things, uh, taking things in right perspective. Uh, I proudly share that uh, 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 during this lockdown period and even uh, recently on 21st, 20, uh, 2021st August, we conducted, a, we organized one online conference where around 1,000 people from all across the country and people from eight different countries also participated in which uh, uh, the, uh, the papers which were submitted by academicians, by research scholars were presented. Uh, the leading academician of the country like uh, the chairman of National Board of Accreditation, Professor K.K. Akrawal Sahib, uh, director I am Bodhgaya, Dr. Vinita Sahib, Madam, uh, the, our, our, our own beloved Vice Chancellor of uh, Dr. E.P.J. Abdul Kalam Technical University, Lucknow, Professor Vinay Patek Sahib. Uh, and likewise, uh, then subsequently we had different uh, uh, panels where industry people, researchers and policy makers, they, uh, they, they express their, uh, they share their perspective on different uh, uh, dimensions and especially how this COVID-19 has impacted the industry. So experience sharing by, uh, by people like these uh, during those two, uh, uh, two days conference, which are supported by AICT and Computer Society of India, has really uh, give, given us a feel that uh, if we want to do something, we can do. This was one. Uh, we conducted uh, the student development programs. We conducted faculty development programs. We conducted uh, uh, entrepreneurship summit. Uh, we conducted digital summit. And people from all across the world in India, we covered in 31 states uh, 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 from where participation uh, participants uh, they, 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 they attended all these programs and we got really wonderful appreciation from all of them and that appreciation in, in fact, uh, it, it was an inspiration and motivation for, uh, for all of us uh, as a team uh, to keep uh, conducting all such uh, events, activities and keep things uh, rolling on. Not only this, uh, for the students, we kept continued conducting workshops. Uh, we conducted workshops uh, for the students of management uh, on financial sector, on insurance banking, on production operations, uh, on uh, data analytics. Likewise, for IT students, we conducted workshops on uh, online mode on uh, IoT applications, on uh, big data and Hadoop framework, on mobile application development, uh, on PHP and the web application development program. And likewise, uh, uh, we conducted 18 different workshops uh, for our own students. And then uh, we thought, why not to take these learnings to the others too? And then we opened this uh, workshop for everyone. Uh, these were a uh, uh, free workshop for all of them. A rigorous workshop we conducted. And in each of the workshop, 500 to 750 students from different institutes all across the country, uh, they participated in each workshop. Uh, which itself speaks uh, the kind of reach uh, we could get, the kind of uh, uh, support, the kind of appreciation we got. There were many students, those who were repeatedly attending all the workshops. Then uh, there were certain workshops like workshop on Python, workshop on R programming, where students uh, requested repeat workshop. We conducted all those repeat workshops. Uh, not only this, we have always, we have very strong alumni relationship, which was uh, really becoming difficult because we have a practice of uh, in inviting two to three alumni every month for uh, all the courses. Uh, but uh, uh, thanks to technology, we uh, kept doing all this. Uh, our alumni, those who are uh, working all across the world, from the United States, from Australia, from New Zealand, from uh, France, from Canada, uh, from UK, they they all have extended their full support. They uh, interact. They have been interacting with all these students in online mode, motivating them, inspiring them. Uh, we uh, could conduct the workshop uh, the, the, because this pandemic has impacted individual's life where people are finding it difficult to cope up with the situation. So we understood this. We conducted several workshops on creating awareness about uh, the COVID-19, how to keep oneself safe. We involve our faculty members, our students, those who have kept things on, uh, not only for their academics, but also they, they, they contributed in spreading this awareness among the society around the, around, in and around uh, the, the vicinity. So, uh, in all, if I say that uh, this COVID-19 uh, situation had forced us in a situation which was unprecedented, but with the help of technology, with the help of support of entire team, of faculty, student, staff, everyone, we kept things on. And I, I proudly share, I proudly uh, share here that we were among very few institutes in the country to, who started all these things at very early stage. We adopted technology. We plug into wherever it was required and kept things on. And the, the presence of around 90%, 85% to 90% of students in all these sessions uh, itself speaks how, to, how these uh, initiatives were successful. 
So I think as an institute, as an individual, uh, we have tried to make uh, all the efforts to keep things uh, on and it has uh, yielded uh, result too. Uh, I'm sure that uh, these things will help others to understand what we have been doing and will also motivate others that things can be taken off, things can be done if we want whatever we're doing. This, such situations cannot stop us. Uh, thank you so much uh, from ITS Monarch Gaziabad.